When it comes to our divine creator, what God experienced when he was getting crucified or before he got crucified, understand how in Genesis 1, they were basically exposing how they built the simulation, how the Arkans built the simulation, right? But they had no creativity to so understand. They were watching us the whole entire time. And so they basically led Yahuwah into a trap. But understand, Yahuwah was going to trap himself regardless because that's why he saved us, saved us from sin. Adam and Eve, right? You can say Adam and Eve is not their real name, but Cain and Abel. When all these things happened, they were programmed. They were programmed by the subconscious mind. So when we were when we basically came to fruition, we were basically awake. So as they say, as they say the serpent came into our garden, into our lives. This is when our lower self came into our higher self. And we were having a on the fence perspective on life. And so when a divine story happens, we plan this part out before we even came to the simulation, before it was even built. We told ourselves and our lower selves like, hey, we were so bored as energy. We didn't want to be stagnant. We wanted to be a variety of life we wanted to live life and do things our way because we are forever we had to go somewhere so instead we came up with a game called earth it's a stage it's an it's an act everybody's an actor so by us doing that we killed ourselves here to resurrect here again because we have a story we have a purpose here that's why we come back every single year every single day every single reincarnation energy cycle and so when yahuwah came down from when he came down from watching us, he understood that he had to place himself as his son, Yeshua. So when he did that, he knew what was going on. And he was preaching the word of God. He didn't need a religion. He was going into churches, healing people with the word of God, trying to get people to heaven. But I understand that no matter what, you have to be awake to the simulation that you created. You created your own hell. But people are so asleep, they don't understand how powerful hell is because it's a state of mind. So people are in their own state of mind, their lowest self, and they don't know how to get to their higher self. That's why God stepped in and was helping people understand who they always been. You are my reflection. You are the reflection of Elohim, Almighty Elohim. And so once he did that, these demons, these arcane demons, they knew what he was doing. So they programmed other churches, other religious groups, and other dictators to eliminate him and crucify him. So and him and her. So when they did that, understand that is a title. God is a title. You are God. So they crucified you on that cross and mocked you. That's the crazy part. When they did this, they understood how powerful it was going to be from the past, present, and future. And so when they did that, they thought as if the war was going to be over. No, it is not. The war will never end because understand it's good versus evil. But good versus evil don't even exist. That's a man-made concept. Understand, you are both balances of energy. And when you are coming into this fruition, understand no matter what you do, there will always be demons around you. But it's the thing though, what are you going to do when they approach your life? What are, you, what are you going to do when people sacrifice and crucify your name? Are you going to stand there and lay down and be weak and be vulnerable and be a little bitch? No. Get the fuck up and stand for what's right, which is your truth, your word, your perspective, and your purpose in this life. Because no matter what, these arcane demons are still here. They ain't going nowhere. They are subconscious beings in this realm. They are basically the jinn. They are shapeshifters. So all these people in your life, they're going to fuck you over. They're going to turn their back on you. They're going to try to kill you. They're going to try to steal from you. They're going to try to... They're going to try to hurt your family. Don't let them. You got to stand strong and stand ten toes down for what you believe in. Because at the end of the day, God has your back no matter what. I love you. Have a great day.